it's Bethany with Girl Defined Ministries and today I'm going to be talking about praying for your future husband. As a single girl myself, this is a topic that is definitely on my mind. So several years ago, actually way back when I was about 13 or 14 years old, I'm 27 now so that was a long time ago for me, I read a book that actually challenged me to start praying for my future husband. The author was a Christian girl in her kind of like mid to late 20s, so about the age that I am and she was still single and she had started praying for her future husband and she was challenging us to do the same thing. And as I was reading it, the thought really clicked to me like, wow, this is a way that I can actually start serving my future husband even before I know him. I can be praying for him, praying for his character, praying for his safety, his relationship with God. I can actually serve him in this way. And I thought that that was such a cool thought. So since I was 13 until now, and hopefully into the future, I have been praying for my future husband. I'm going to share with you the specific things that I've been praying for over the last several years. And then I'm going to challenge you as you hear mine to think to yourself, hmm, what things could I be praying for for my own future husband? So if you haven't ever done this before or haven't even thought about this, I really want you to think about the qualities that you're looking for in a future husband and the qualities that you could be praying for. Now, I'm not talking about like, oh my goodness, I hope he's tall, dark, and handsome and the hottest tongue on the planet. Not that sort of thing. I'm talking about character qualities, qualities that you would desire in a godly future husband. So here's my list of qualities and prayers that I'm praying for my future husband and I want to share them with you. Number one is that he would not have a love for the world. Number two is that he would think of others above himself. Number three is that he would guard his mind. Number four is that he would be committed to spiritual growth. And number five is that he would have a 1 Corinthians 13 love so that he would have a selfless love, not an all about me, what can I get out of this, but really an others focused type of love. So as I've been praying these things, it's really been convicting to me like, wow, if I am praying for these things in a future husband, what kind of woman should I be? Because a guy like this is going to be looking for a certain type of girl to come alongside him and support him and carry out this vision. So I challenge you to make a list for your future husband, of qualities that you desire, godly character qualities that you desire in a future husband, but don't stop there. I want you to take that list, just like I have mine, and then I want you to turn it on yourself. And if you're praying that he would, like me, not have a love for the world, then I want you to challenge yourself to do the same thing. I want you to challenge yourself to work on that quality that you would not have a love for the world, or that you would think of, that he would think of others above himself. I challenge you to turn that on yourself and challenge yourself to think of others above yourself. Because if you're desiring these things in a future husband, you need to be working on it and building those qualities in your own life. And it's a great time because as single girls, we have a Little bit more time. We're not, you know, in a relationship with our husband right then, so it's the best time to start building those character qualities before you actually get there. So I would love to hear from you girls. What things are you praying for in a future husband? Are you praying for things similar to mine, or have you never even thought about this and you need to make up your own list right now? I would love to hear from you in the comment section below, and then I would love to hear how you are going to challenge yourself to work on those, those things yourself. How are you going to start applying those things and really building that character in your own life? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos and vlogs from us, Girl Defined Ministries in the future, subscribe to us below. <laughs> quiet, quiet. <laughs> Again? I don't know what to say for that. Get you quiet. Okay, three, two, one, silence. Yeah, you want me to just do it? I think it'll work. Okay, cut.